I am so ready for fall and nothing says fall like a new shawl and I'm excited to share some color ideas for this new textured shawl and it's called Mingling Daisies. So all you need is one color of yarn and I chose Ching Fiber's Yak Singles yarn and it is just the most beautiful heathered yarn with a silky glow to it. And all you need to knit the Mingling Daisies is two skeins of the Yak Singles yarn. So I use the Biscuit colorway. It's this really beautiful gold, but the magical part about this Yak Singles yarn is every color is dyed on a gray heathered base. Those Yak fibers are a gray color, so you get that shadowy depth to every single color. So there's this brick orange, and you can see that really deep kind of gray undertone. And the, even the bright colors, like the green, still have that smoky quality to it. This is the Stun colorway. So Mingling Daisies, I just used two skeins of the Yak Singles because it has a really generous yardage. And it's such a fun pattern with just one color, has a really relaxing rhythm. And there's garter stitch breaks in between the textures. And you'll find some broken ribbing. You'll find this daisy stitch in the pattern. It's a really beautiful little cluster texture. And then a little lace cable, but just for a little bit for that eyelet texture, and then you go back and repeat the textures. So overall, it's a nice big semi-circular shape with two skeins of Yak Singles, and I just love the drape of this fiber. It's so glowy and makes this really soft, structural, soft sculpture around the neck, and those colors just glow on that silky base. So two skeins. Two skeins is enough of the Yak Singles, and you're going to find that this has Merino, Yak, and Silk. It's 65% Merino, 20% Silk, and 15% Yak. And it's all fingering weight yarn on a single ply base, but it's a little bit skinnier than your standard singles, so it's kind of a light fingering. You get 480 meters or 525 yards on each skein of the Yak Singles. So we, I put together a bunch of kits for this at Stephen and Penelope, so you can find uh, a rainbow array of colors featuring two skeins. This is the brick colorway. It's a really smoky, rusty orange. There's some purples. So this design is really simple, so I think it would show off some subtle speckles really nicely. This is the antique rose colorway with little green and purple speckles. Just two skeins of that. And there's some other semi-solids. Semi-solids always really pronounce the texture. So if you really want a version similar to this biscuit colorway that I'm wearing, I would choose like a smoky semi-solid to really show off all the little stitch details in there. This is the peachy colorway. It's a silvery, rosy pink. Yeah, every color is mixed with that gray tone. So they all have that beautiful shadowy dimension. This is Stun that I showed earlier. It's a really vibrant green, but has that dusty silver overlay across the colors. Another speckled option, this is Smoke. It has these rust and green and purple speckles to it. I think that would still show off really crisp stitches. And anytime you're knitting a shawl that has texture, if you want the texture to pop even more when you're wearing it, then I would go with a light color. If you choose a dark color, it kind of casts a shadow over all the stitches, which is beautiful. But if you really want to see this crisp pop like I'm wearing, then I would recommend a light color. Okay, so that would be something like Smoke or Stun or that peachy colorway, that beautiful dusty pink that I showed. That would all work really nicely and pop the stitches. If you go with darker colors, this is the ink. You'd still see the texture because it's a semi-solid, but it would be a little more moody and more shadowy in the fabric. So that was ink. This is teal, a really vibrant turquoise ocean blue. And then a couple more options we have for you pink lovers. We've got this flamingo combo, or it's the same color, two skeins of flamingo. And it's a really electric pink, but with some orange and green and blue speckles really really fun to knit with and I think one of my favorites. I've knit with this color before in my Pagona shawl. This is called Pangolin. I mean, ugh, come on, those rusty orange streaks melting into the pink and you'll find some purple speckles 
a little golden glow to this colorway. I just love this. I need to take the label off to see the whole. Oh my gosh. Two skeins of pangolin. I think that would be stunning and just make this melted speckle effect for the shawl. So those are the kits we'll have for Mingling Daisies in the Yak Singles. If you want to knit this with another yarn, then pay close attention to the yardage. You're going to need 1,025 yards or 937 meters total. Okay, so because the Yak Singles is so generous, you just need two skeins of that. But if you're knitting a regular like hand dyed fingering weight yarn, like Life in the Long Grass Singles, you're going to need three skeins. Okay, because this is a normal yardage. There's about 400, 400 yards, 366 meters. So if you're working with a regular fingering weight yarn like that, make sure you have three skeins. This is our custom colorway called Ignite in Life in the Long Grass Singles. It's a really fiery red, but with a bit of an orange tone to it. Ignite and some other fall combos or fall colors that you could use. These are also custom colors, the antler colorway from Life in the Long Grass. It's a creamy vanilla, but with these pinky golden speckles to it. That would be really simple and really make the daisy stitch in that little cabled lace stitch pop. And then one other autumn color. This is also a custom color called Ember from Life in the Long Grass. So if you're getting your hand dyed yarns out or your regular fingering weight yarns, you need three 100 gram skeins of those hand dyed yarns. But if you're doing the Yak Singles, because that yardage is so generous with over 500 yards per skein, you just need two skeins of Yak Singles. And one other yarn option, we can't not talk about our new Westwell Bicycle. And I love our bicycle now because it comes in 50 gram skeins. So you could even do like a striped version. If you want to collect a lot of Westwell Bicycle colors, you could, how cool would that look with like a different color for each section of this shawl? You could stripeify it. Or if you're knitting a single color version with Westwell Bicycle, you're gonna need six skeins because these come in 50 gram skeins. So six of Bicycle. I also put some kits together for you with Bicycle so you don't have to think about how much yarn you need. Just pick your favorite color. So all those kits will be at stevenandpenelope.com. So you can choose your color, knit the mingling daisies and just relax with one color as you enjoy all those beautiful textures throughout the semicircle. So I hope you love it. Let me know in the comments down below what color you liked, which one of those Yak Singles colors was your favorite, or if you have some other yarn ideas that you're gonna knit this shawl with. It's one of those really simple, relaxing shapes, but with a beautiful texture to highlight your favorite color in your stash. So I can't wait to see what you make and I'll see you in the next video.